is your best way of dealing with anger? Mm. If I did it more, it would be um, going to my room and screaming in my pillow and crying it out. Cry it out. Does everybody feel anger? Yeah. You think it's okay to feel anger? No. Why? Well, okay. I take that back. It is sometimes good to feel angry. Sending anger out of your body and emotions out of you. Do you think that emotions are good to feel? Um, yes. The good ones and the uncomfortable ones? Yeah. I agree with you. Except I want to do that. Sadness for me. I want to do that. Sunny. What do you do when you're angry? <clears throat> yeah, you do, huh? Do you sometimes stomp your feet? Do you let it out of your body when you get angry? Get it out of you? Yeah, you do a pretty good job of that. Yep. Well, thanks guys for sharing. So Maisie, my little Maisie, <laughs> and my little Sunny, my little Sunny, we were going on a little nature walk today and the radio was playing all kinds of stuff about anger. Rethink anger is what they were talking about. And it got me thinking because there's so much talk about emotions and how important they are to our physical health. And I've been talking a lot about this and it's been a big thing on my mind. When we get down to the importance of feeling all of the emotions and how every emotion that we feel has such an important role that when we feel anger it's there is a sign to teach us that there's something that is out of our norm something that isn't resonating with maybe our goals or our values or our beliefs and so when something gets in the way of that okay. it makes us feel real angry Mommy. and we've learned huh as children when you don't get your way it's it can leave you feeling pretty. very Mom. angry yeah. and that Mom. anger can be constructive Mom. like Sunny is feeling angry right now <laughs> yeah. and help you to Mom. to come Mommy. up with new ways of reconstructing Mom. how you use anger to benefit or create some something different for yourself but that it's not something that we have to trap or shy away from that to move into it to embrace it is actually the most important thing to do and with children I've taught these children when you do feel anger it's okay to feel it it's not okay to hurt someone. It's not okay to be disrespectful to Mommy. other people, but it is okay to feel anger and it is okay to have a way to let it out. Breathe really heavy or have to come down through yoga or meditation or go outside for a walk in, in nature and allow nature to help us calm it down. But it is so important that we use these emotions as tools that we have and not be Mom. afraid to feel all the different feelings of anger or Mom. sadness Mom. or frustration. <laughs> Are you feeling all of those above, Sunny? Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Go into the cave. <laughs> or even depletion and overwhelm and fatigue Mom. and irritation. Oh, like, oh, my ear, <laughs> When we go into our emotions and when we see what's underneath them or what's creating them, we can often find like the things that irritate us, such as sometimes our children or the world around us. When things start to irritate us is when we can do more things to, to set up skills and tools of calming our nervous system down in those moments of extreme anger so that we don't have to react in a way that makes us then turn to shame or guilt which are also very beneficial emotions to feel 
and to move into those when you do fill them is just going to teach you your own inner power and your own empowerment that will really create Mom. a new shift and change within yourself. Mom.